Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed myself and my wife as students to keep coming back and forth to Dar es Salaam and to learn from Sheikh Safi, Sheikh Harun at the time, I see our brother Ibn Palmer as well, and others who have, forgive me if I've missed you, who were teaching us during those years. He could have gone anywhere. This is why the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is something that we should come to love again and again and again. He could have gone anywhere after he graduated from Medina, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided him to this community where his vision was nurtured by the likes of those in leadership at the time, and we continue until today. I fondly remember the farewell gathering when he was leaving America to go back to Canada and then ultimately to Dubai, and all of us gathered here, sisters and brothers, to wish him farewell. And subhanAllah, we knew that he was onto something big. My own sister and brother-in-law moved to this community because of Dar es Salaam, and they benefited. My nephews Yusuf and Musa were taught Quran by others, including Sheikh Hamza Sharif. And indeed, in this gathering, in this same location, he, Sheikh Hamza Sharif, led the janazah of his maternal grandmother, his Sittu Aziza, here in Dar es Salaam. SubhanAllah. Small moments that occurred between us, and then I'll close, I don't want to keep it too long. When he decided to call the Institute of Love, I would turn to him and say, you know, why don't you start with the Fajr? Because people are having issues getting up for Fajr, and then we can get to the Love and we would joke back and forth. When he was forming uh, a maghrib and touched by an angel, the first class that he ever taught as a maghrib, we were so humbled because he even requested permission to say, can I please promote this? And subhanAllah, the humility of someone who was starting this early days, staffing the booth on his own at conventions and conferences. As I close, I want to share that in my humble assessment as a student of Islamic work in America, and that our brother, our scholar, our uh, husband, a father, and who has returned to his Lord, indeed, was a visionary and a revolutionary. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept him as one who brought so much benefit to all of us through revolutionizing, uh, pioneering Islamic education, and the infrastructure he built through a mother that has benefited people around the world. He had genuine concern for Muslims in the West because he knew uh, most could not just get up and travel to the East and go live and study abroad. Even if they couldn't, he didn't want them to be uh, uh, to just you know to leave their locality. He wanted to bring the education to them. And then we watched, we watched Subhanallah that he did not cling on, did not cling on to leadership. He went on to make it self-sustaining on its own in a system of organization to the Qabila and the pride that each member had to be a part of the Qabila in their own locality. Oh Allah grants him tremendous reward and that is true legacy with the multitudes of people who improved in their relationship with you, Ya Rab, with your book, Ya Rab, and with your messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Again, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajeeun. Barakallahu alaykum to the leadership of Dar salam for this opportunity to share a few words about our Sheikh Muhammad al-Sheikh. Salaam Brothers and sisters, uh, so, inshallah, the idea behind this was that it would motivate all of us to uh, make dua as we make the salat of janazah, inshallah. As the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, إِذَا صَلَّيْتُمْ عَلَىٰ الْمَيِّدِ فَأَخْلِصُوا لَهُ الْدُعَىٰ That when you pray on your deceased, then be super sincere in the dua that you make. So, inshallah, the idea is to encourage you, to motivate you, and be passionate in the dua that you make, which you come up uh, this afternoon. Uh, real quick word on the Salat of Janazah. Uh, we are praying in absentia. So, as a regular Janazah prayer, uh, we will say the Tathbir four times, and then after that we'll say the Tathbir on one side, inshallah. Um, after the first Tathbir, you say Surah Al-Fatiha, after the second takbir, you say the Salah al-Nabi, you know, which uh, you might know in Urdu as the Guru, that you normally say in the, in the Salah, uh, that Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammadin, towards the end of the Salah, you say. So you say that after the second takbir. After the third takbir, you make a dua for Shaykh Muhammad. And after the fourth takbir, if you'd like, you can make a general dua for all Muslims, and then we'll say salam. So, inshallah, um, as you know, in uh, South of Janaza, there is no sajda, there is no report, and uh, there is no qama or uh, So, we will go ahead and get up. Inshallah, we need to form at least three lines. Um,
and on the sister's side as well.